Hello, my wonderful super techies. It's Mrs. Breen here. Um, I decided that, hey, let's try to do a, st a STEM project with stuff that we like have around the house. So this is my workroom um, down in my basement. Here, I'll give you a tour. So um, as, you, as you can see, like I have um, my wood stove going, so it's nice and warm. I have my work table. That's some of my artwork, um, my plants that are down here, and my fabric and sewing stuff and everything. So we're gonna work at my uh, work bench right here. And let me get myself into the shop. All right, so let's make a, um, a rubber band powered boat. That's what I was thinking. Um, I was trying to figure out stuff that maybe everybody has around the house. Um, so I have a water bottle. Had that today with some fruity water. Um, this actually requires for skewers, but I have no skewers. You know those wooden skewers? So I went out to my woods and um, I cut some branches and I made sure that they, and I just cut them so they're about the same length. You want them to be about half again, let me back up, half again as long as um, the bottle. So if you see where I have it right there. So I have two of them. Uh, you're gonna need four or maybe five rubber bands, various sizes, it doesn't really matter. Um, two plastic spoons. But I, I was actually thinking maybe not everybody has plastic spoons. So what you could do is actually um, maybe the side of any type of plastic, like the side of a laundry detergent or a milk jug, and you can literally just make like a square um, or rectangle. So I have two spoons, I'm gonna hopefully see if this works. Um, and then I have my hot glue gun. Uh, you could also just use regular Elmer's glue, but you just have to wait for the glue to set and cure. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, so I was prepping things ahead of time. Um, so what I did is I, I cut the end or the handle part of the uh, of the plastic spoon. Uh, I would probably wear safety glasses or kind of do one of these because it can shatter like the other one shattered on me. Um, probably not such a good idea, right? Um, so there I have my two spoons like so. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna position your sticks or skewers um, and you're gonna glue it down on the side of the water jug. So I'm gonna find what side of the stick or skewer um, has the best coverage or s connection to this um, water container. So um, I think this side's good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run a nice thick amount of hot glue right down the side of this water bottle and then I'm going to stick this down and I'm going to hold it. So I'm going to pause and then I'm going to come back and uh, um, uh, show you that the other side's done too so just hold on. Alright so back again. Um, I did notice that, so this is my first time doing this too, I always wanted to make one though. Um, I did notice that my super temperature hot glue gun uh, is kind of melting this plastic. So if you have one of these, I would suggest um, you can actually cool down this water bottle by putting water in it before you glue it, if you have one of these high powered ones. Um, if not, if you're just using Elmer's glue or if you're using uh, a lower temperature, then uh, you should be fine. So here we go. I'm kind of looking at this angle. I think this is probably going to be a little prob problematic, so I might want to trim these down a little bit, but, you know, we can figure it out as we go along. Next thing you want to do is secure this to make sure that these don't pop off. So I have, I have two rubber bands right here, and I actually found in my craft stuff a whole bag. So you can use whatever. I was very surprised that I actually had rubber bands in there. Um, you can use whichever ones you want. These... Um, might be the best. I don't know. We can always try it. As good engineers, we uh, we utilize the materials that we have around us for the problem. And if it doesn't work, then we can analyze, figure out the problem, and go back and try to find a better solution based off the materials that we have. 
Oh, so I kind of like this one. I feel like this is nice and secure. I'm going to put two of these on here just in case the, sorry if that's loud, just in case if the um, sticks do not hold with the hot glue gun. So I hit, here I have another one. I'm going to put this one around too. And I think that's good. So looking at this, I, I'm pretty positive this is probably going to be a little problematic, but uh, we'll go back. So what you want to do is make a propeller. So like I said, if you have two plastic spoons, you can use those. You can actually use a rectangular piece of plastic that you can cut off the side of a milk jug when you're done with the milk jug. Go through your recycling, see what you have. Um, the spoons work really well because what you want to do is actually make it so the curvature is like this but I mean really anything will work this will just propel a little better because it's going to as it goes into the water like this it's going to cut the water and it's going to spin creating a pull or a drag in the water so what I'm gonna do is take some hot glue and I'm gonna stick it right here a nice big glob of it be careful of your fingers And I'm gonna glue this up like this and I'm just gonna let it sit and I'll be right back. So here we go. I hot glued it together so it's like this. So it actually even looks like a propeller if I start spinning it um, nice and secure. Just remember like if you're using Elmer's glue, you might have to like glue it and set it, make sure it dries. So working on this, I'm looking at this and I'm, I'm gonna just make adjustments right now. So I have my clippers and I think I'm just gonna trim some of this off. This is nice green wood, so it's a little harder to uh, to cut. Um, hopefully you have like some wooden skewers in the house. Urgh. If not, you're going to ask your parents for help to cut these. All right, here we go. Whew. Looks like I'm going to sharp my, sharpen my tools. All right, so I kind of like this a little bit better. Do you see how that is? So what you're going to do is you're going to take some rubber bands and you're gonna put them around right here right at the end and of course it's loose and if you make it twice it might be too tight it might be too tight so what what I like to do is actually I take the two and what I do is I take the slack like this and I just kind of see how I cross it over and I put it there and then I do it on the other side because so I go like this I cross it see how I cross it and then I wrap it around over here so that kind of gives it some security right there and some tension so if I do that kind of sounds like an instrument right so then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my propeller so the scoop part is going to go forward, right? So, let's see. And I might... Oh no, so I did have to make it a little longer. <laughs> All right, so don't, don't be like Mrs. Breen. Don't trim it up. All right, so I'm going to move it to the end, end, end. So let's see if we can get that. All right, and I'm going to put it in. Does there, is there clearance now? All right, it looks like there's clearance. So you can leave it like this and you can wind it up and set it down in a bathtub and see how it works. But then once it un unfoils, like uh, uncoils, you might lose your propeller. So what I like to do is actually, and I'll do it like this so maybe you guys can see it. Um, I like to spin it around like maybe, maybe once or twice. And then I put a nice globby hot glue right there. And I let that set. So right where the rubber band meets the spoon, um, I put a nice glob of hot glue to secure that. And then you can also spin this around and you can do the backside. So I'm gonna show you. I feel like I'm on TV. All right. And then I'm just gonna wait and um, let this set. I have some strings I can pull off. 
Uh, remember to be careful with hot glue. You don't want to burn yourself. Um, off camera here, I actually have a bowl of ice water that anytime I use my hot glue gun, I always have a bowl of ice water if I don't have a protective glove. Um, so in case I do come in contact with hot glue, because this is really strong hot glue, um, high temperature, I can dip my hand right into the icy cold water and it will stop the burn. So I am going to wait for this to set. So the next scene that you're gonna see is I'm gonna actually fill up my bathtub and I'm gonna see how this works. All right, here we go. So I am going to wind this this way, going away from the bottle because I want the force to be pushing this way around. So whatever, then it's going to spin in the opposite direction, remember? So the force will then go the other way. All right, ready, test. There it goes, nice. Test accomplished. So test two, where of course as any scientist we know in engineers, we always test three times. So I'm going to spin this around opposite, going away from the bottle. And I'm gonna put this down. Awesome, test two and test it. three. I wound this up extra specially tight. Do you see that? I wonder how long. Can you predict how long this might go for by looking at how many times I turn that? All right, so we'll count. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think seven, we got it. So go ahead. I, got, I want you guys to try this at home, and I want you to tell me all about it. Have a great time. Thanks.